Hi everyone, Brad Browning here with another breakup advice video. So just the other day I went through all my YouTube comments and I gathered some of the most commonly asked questions. And then I thought, hey, wouldn't it be great for my viewers if I could answer all of these questions in one video? So here we are. Um, in this video, I'll answer the top three most common YouTube breakup questions. Now, before I begin, I, I wanna say thank you very much for leaving your comments and your feedback in the uh, comments section below the video. As you can probably tell, I uh, do my very best to answer all your questions regarding your relationship and breakup problems. So uh, keep the comments coming. All right, and let's move on. Uh, here's commonly asked question number one. I want my ex back, but I don't think the no contact strategy will work for me. What should I do? So for those of you who don't know what the no contact strategy is, uh, let me quickly explain. Uh, basically, the no contact strategy involves not contacting your ex for a period of around 30 days after a breakup. Now, I'm not going to get into the details as to why that works, but just know that if you employ this strategy correctly, you'll significantly increase the chances of winning your ex back. Now, I know a lot of people think that this strategy won't work for them, and I understand the skepticism. After all, how can you make your ex fall back in love with you without talking to them? Well, in the system that I teach, the no contact strategy is just one step out of several. Of course, simply not talking to your ex won't cause them to break down and come running back to you, although sometimes it can. Um, so what you do directly before and after the no contact strategy is crucial if you want to optimize your chances of making your ex come back to you. And again, I don't want to get into the exact science as to why the no contact uh, method works. And I actually answer that question in another YouTube video anyway, so you can check that one out after this. But suffice to say, if you think the no contact strategy won't work for you, then you're most likely incorrect. Um, you'll probably need to use the no contact strategy to some degree in order to win your ex back. However, in some rare cases, um, the no contact strategy probably isn't a good idea. Again, those are rare cases only. Um, and one example where it might not be a good idea is if you and your ex broke up several months ago and you haven't had contact for a while. Um, in that case, it would be unlikely that, that more no contact is going to have any positive effect unless you begin implementing some of my uh, covert strategies that I outline in my X Factor Guide program. And for a video on how these psychological strategies work, just head over to uh, breakupbrad.com and watch the free video presentation there on my website. Okay, and uh, let's move on to commonly asked question number two. My ex says they miss me and they want to be friends. Should I be friends with my ex? Well, the short answer to this question is no. In 95% of the cases that I've seen, being friends with your ex won't help you, uh, won't help make him or her want a relationship with you again. See, right after a breakup, your ex probably feels very emotional even if they initiated the breakup. So even though they've stated their intention to break up with you, they probably don't want to lose you forever. And because of this, your ex will still want to keep you around, so to speak. And while this sounds amazing to you right now, you, you simply cannot let it happen to you. Uh, and for a couple of reasons. For one, um, getting stuck in this friend zone, it makes you appear weak and unattractive. And if you want to make your ex desire you again, then you have to not make it seem like you do anything to just be around them. If you act like you want to hang around them all the time, you'll just, you'll just appear needy and desperate and your ex will lose a significant amount of attraction for you. And the second reason why being friends with your ex is a bad idea is due to the fact that you allow your ex to recover from the breakup slowly. Um, think of it as, as like ripping a band-aid off. If you peel the band-aid off slowly, the pain's bearable. And that's how your ex will feel if they have you around whenever they, whenever they want. Um, the pain of the breakup will be minimized, obviously, because you're still around whenever they want to talk to you and your ex can just sort of wean themselves off of you as they please over time. However, if you rip the band-aid right off, the pain will be excruciating, right? So in your case, what you need to do is completely disappear from your ex's life and force them to realize what life is like without you there at all. So what you have to do instead is increase the amount of desire that your ex feels for you. Showcase to him or her that you're confident and independent because um, those are the traits that human beings find universally attractive. And allowing yourself to be friend-zoned, um, that'll kill any chance of building attraction, completely kill it. Okay, and let's move on to uh, commonly asked question number three. Um, and that is, what's the X Factor Guide and will it work for me? Uh, well, the X Factor Guide is my complete done-for-you system that helps anyone in your situation win their ex back, regardless of why the breakup happened in the first place. It's loaded with tons of uh, covert psychological tactics that you can use right now to turn the tides of your breakup and make your ex wish that you two never broke up in the first place. Now, I know that that probably sounds too good to be true, and unfortunately for some cases it is, uh, but if you properly use my system, I guarantee that you'll have the best possible chance of regaining the love of your life.
And if you want to learn more about that or watch my free video presentation, just uh, simply head over to breakupbrad.com and uh, you can watch the video and uh, grab a copy of my X Factor Guide program if you choose. And that's it for today. Um, again, uh, keep the comments coming and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks all. See you soon.